Hi boys and girls, I'm gonna show you how to oil your tuba valves today. So what I have is I have a bottle of valve oil. I have a couple tissues with me. I'm gonna take my tuba out of the case and then I'm gonna start with my first valve. So don't take all your valves at once, just one valve at a time. So I'm gonna unscrew my first valve. So I'm doing that with that big screw that's going around the valve cap, so right about here. Okay, I'm gonna pull my valve out, and I'm gonna make sure I pull it out straight. Don't pull up on it, because you can bend your valve. So I'm pulling out my valve straight. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tissue, and I'm gonna wipe off my valves. You can get an old cleaning cloth if you want to, but you definitely want to wipe, wipe the valve off first because you want to get all the dirt off first before you put nice clean oil on it. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my tissue down, I'm going to take my valve, I'm going to take my valve oil, and on the silver part, so not in the holes, never put it in the holes, I'm just going to put a couple little drops of valve oil. I'm just going to be careful not to spill that on myself, so you might not want to do this on uh, your parents couch or their carpet or anything like that just in case you drop a little bit of valve oil remember use instrument valve oil don't ever use canola oil vegetable oil um, anything other than instrument oil do not use it so instrument oil only so here it is and you could use blue juice too which is like a blue bottle of valve and slide oil so now that I put a couple drops of valve oil onto my valve again not in the hole Okay, so what I'm going to do to place the valve in is if you look at your valve, there should be this white little plastic piece right here. And if I look at the inside of my valve, I'm going to see how this cut out little line inside. This white plastic piece has to line up perfectly with the inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it and I'm going to give this little, the actual part you push your finger down on, this key, a turn. And if it doesn't turn and it stays in place, then my valve is perfectly lined up. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to screw this part, the larger cap on the valve in. Again, I'm gonna test this here. And then what I would like you to do is get out your mouthpiece, place your mouthpiece in and try to play. If you can't play a B flat, a C or a D, and it feels like you're blowing into cotton or it feels like you just can't blow in, nothing's coming out, then it means that those holes on the valve did not line up right. So then what you're gonna wanna do is take out your valve again, check where that little white plastic part is on the valve, check where the line is cut out on the inside of the valve and make sure that is lined up. Okay, again, never ever take out all three valves at once do one valve at a time. And the reason why is because if you put valve one into valve two, valve two into valve one, valve three into valve one, your tube is not gonna play. So you wanna do one at a time so you know exactly where they go. So again, what we would do to do a second one is I'm going to unscrew the large valve cap. I'm going to pull the valve out straight. Again, I never want to pull it out sideways because I could bend it. I'm gonna lay my tuba on my lap. I'm gonna get my cleaning cloth. I'm gonna wipe the valve out. I'm gonna clean this off. You might see that it might turn like a little, a little black here. I'm gonna get my valve oil. I'm gonna put a couple drops onto the silver part of the valve, not in the holes. I'm gonna stand my tuba up. I found my little white plastic part, which is right here. My cutout part on the inside of the valve is facing towards me. So I'm gonna place this in straight, gently. I'm gonna give my smaller part of my valve a turn and make sure it's not turning. Okay, I can't turn this around. It feels like it's stuck. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press my valve down just a little bit. And I'm going to screw the large valve cap back into place. 
just like this. And those are perfect. Again, put your mouthpiece in, play a B flat, play a C, play a D, make sure that those notes come out. If it feels like you're blowing into cotton and that no notes come out, then your valve is on backwards and you're gonna to wanna to take that valve out. And again, just make sure that that white plastic part on the valve lines up perfectly with the little cutout part inside the valve, okay? So that is how you oil your valves.